In this tutorial, I will show you how to add links, GIFs, and link another Google Slide presentation to your Bitmoji Classroom. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to add a link from say BrainPop or iXL or another web um, browser or web link that you are wanting to add to your Google slide. So in my case I am going to use BrainPop um, because I use BrainPop all the time in my classroom. So I want to make it where it's they just click on one of these images and it takes them to that particular assignment in BrainPop. So I already have pulled up just a random um, brain pop lesson that I want to add and this one's called um, traditional animation so what I would do is find that you know whatever in brain pop and then I'm gonna go up here and just copy this link and then I'm gonna go back to my Google slide and I'm gonna go to insert I'm gonna make sure that this particular image that I want is highlighted and I'm gonna go to insert link and I'm going to paste it and then apply. And so then that link, as you see, is there. And so when the students click on it, that link will pop, that particular assignment will pop up in BrainPop. Now I am going to show you how to add a presentation or a um, virtual classroom from another classroom that you've made. So I already have one made. Say if I have an assignment, a task or a list of assignments for the week or something like that, and it's in a different presentation, then what I would do is go to that presentation, which is this is my assignments that I have for my students each week. I'm going to go to File. And I'm going to use Publish to Web. And I'm going to use Publish to Web so that when they you know click on it it doesn't change anything they can't move anything but then if it has links or anything they will be able to still click on those because here on my bookshelf it does have a link so i'm going to go to file publish to web and usually it'll pop up first and ask are you sure you want to publish and you'll say yes and then you're going to copy this link for me i'm on a macbook so i would use command c you would use whatever is um for the computer that you're using. Then I'm going to go back to my original presentation and say when they um, click on these books it'll take them to that. So then I'll click on the books and then I'm going to go to insert link. I'm going to paste it in and apply. So when they click on this particular link that other presentation will pop up. Now I want to show you how to add an animated GIF or GIF as some may say to your slide. Um, say you have a window and you want to add some fancy little movements or you know anything like that. So what you would do is you're going to have to pull up a new web browser and then you would go to Jiffy or Giphy.com. In this case I do have it pulled up but it would be gipphy.com. It would come up and you would just search whatever you want it to pull up. I'm going to search cows. A whole bunch come up. You can just pick whichever one. You're going to click on it. Click copy link. And then you're going to use the second one. You're going to copy it. Then you're going to go back to your Google slide. You're going to go to insert image and you're going to pick by URL. And then you're going to add it and click insert. Now it's here. Now I want it to go behind my window, of course. So you would just kind of resize it till it would fit in there. That looks like that's 
pretty perfect. And then I'm going to click on my window because the window needs to be in front of the, the image. And then I'm going to go over to Arrange, Order, and click Bring to Front. And then you still may have to um, resize it just a little bit for it to actually fit in there. But once it's in there, perfect. So now if you're looking outside, you would see the cows running around outside. And so I've showed you how to add a link from like a web or another program. I've showed you how to add a link from a separate presentation. And then I showed you how to add a GIF. So let's click on this link just to make sure that it works. And it does. Go back. I want to get to a different presentation. Click on it. It's going to pull up in present mode because that's what you want for your students. You don't want them to be able to move anything around. They should be able to go through, look at their daily schedule for each day, all these different little things, their reading assignment, learning target, all that is available for them. And remember I told you that there was a link in the first slide. So here, if they click on this image or this bookshelf, it should take them to the link that I had in here. And it does. I added the same brain pop. So now I hope that this was helpful and that you are able to now add links and GIFs to your Google Slide.